YouTube family. Welcome back to another episode of 2A in LA. As always, anything I say in this episode, prior episodes, and future episodes is just my personal opinion. You shouldn't take it as fact. You shouldn't take it as law. Always do your own homework and come up with your own conclusions. All right, right about now, I'm going to ask you to go ahead, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and drop down a comment for your boy. Okay, so look, fam. This is the second episode of a three-part series on 2A in LA's ultimate home defense bill, right? So in the first episode, we started off with this Joe Bob Outfitters AR9 lower, right? And so I told you guys that this is a real rarity in California. This lower has been registered as a semi-automatic AR9 pistol. And that allows me to do a, legally an AR pistol build in the state of California. So I told you guys that, you know, this episode, unlike my, um, this build, unlike my 50 Beowulf build, two things. Number one, the 50 Beowulf was really more of an assembly than a build in that I had a complete lower, a complete upper. Yes, I did change out some of the parts on the upper and lower receiver, uh, primarily the lower parts kit, and I added accessories, but pretty much it was more an assembly than a build. This one I'm starting with a stripped lower. I'll have a, uh, a, a stripped upper receiver and I'll be putting everything together. So. What I've done now is I've accumulated the parts, all the parts that I'm going to be using for the build. So I wanted to take this episode to kind of walk you through the parts that I'm using for my build. Now, some of these parts were the ideal parts I wanted, and some of these parts were the parts that were available. I'm doing a direct blowback gun. I wanted to use the CMMG technology where it has delay blowback so that uh, it lowers the, um, the recoil on, on the, the, the pistol, but it was all out of stock. I couldn't find it anywhere. I didn't want to wait three months for it to come back in or if it's going to come back in or when. So I, I didn't want to go through all that. So I went with the best available parts with the thought process that this is going to be a long-term gun for me. And if parts came available that I could improve them, then I would. But the things I chose are no slouch. And so let's talk about the other parts uh, that we, we've assembled for this build. I got an Aero Precision Upper. Uh, this upper fits really well with the Joe Bob Outfitters lower, so that's great. The Spikes Tactical uh, Boat Carrier Group, they, do, they make a really good product. We've got the Spikes Tactical uh, five and a quarter inch barrel. We've got the Caw Valley Precision uh, handrail, so we went with a five inch handrail for this build. We've got the Battle Arms Development Saber uh, Tube uh, Buffer uh, Kit. We got the Angstans Arms uh, buffer spring, and uh, this was specifically made for AR9s. That's important. We got the Gearhead Works pistol brace. We got the Sylvan Arms uh, foldable stock adapter. We got the Strike Industries lower enhanced lower parts kit. The CMG uh, Castle Nut with the Fortis a nine millimeter muzzle brake. We've got the uh, Radian Raptor 50 uh, charging handle. We've got the Daniel Defense pistol grip. And last but certainly not least, we have the Elfman tactical drop in trigger. So that's the complete parts list. I know it just looks like a, <laughs> a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, but everything in its proper place and time. So we're gonna be doing this build, putting it together, um, I'm sending certain parts out to get Cerakoted, uh, so uh, the, the look of the gun will also be the way I want it, um, but, so that's going to take some time, that's probably going to take a good three, four weeks, and then we have to reassemble everything or assemble everything once the Cerakoted parts are done. 
So it'll probably be another, you know, month to four to say four to six weeks before we have the final episode where I do the reveal and we actually shoot it. But looking forward to it, man, it's been, it was a lot of fun and a lot of stress trying to assemble the parts because there's so many part shortages and trying to find, and this was a lot different from my other assembly where everything was kind of put together. So now I have to be concerned, well, does this part fit with this part? And does that part fit with that part? If I do this, will it do that? And so there was a lot of that going on when I was trying to assemble these parts. But anyway, we're in the next phase. We're moving on to the next phase of the build. And next time you see 2A NLA's AR9, it will be complete. All right? Until next time, fam, as always, take care of one another and peace.